Leave her. We can. The pressure's falling. How much time do we have? None. We're running out of time. I told you this wasn't going to work. Don't panic. We still have some options. Please give him one more dose. Come on, stop. let's get him. Come on, let's get him. Hey, you, stop. Stop. Don't move. Stop right now. Stop. Yuri, we must go out of our way to find Sichov and the laptop before Volodenko's people do so. Go tomorrow and check out his factory and talk to the head of the security service. Look for Maxim. Rinchuk. Okay? Got it. May I go? Yes, you may. How is he? Well, he is still unconscious. He will still need some medical attention. But don't worry. We'll do everything we can. Thank you. Want to grab something to eat? What do you say? No, thanks. Come on, we won't be long. Stay there. Lyusha! What the hell is this now? That's what Adita Yakivna ordered a while ago. She told me that the dishes me and Darina cooked are just so basic. She also told me that the dishes might not pass. Mikhailo Romanovich to stay. I'm not surprised. But she doesn't know what she's talking about at all. Halia, why haven't you changed yet? You look so pale. Are you all right? I just feel so tired, Regina. Well, I hope there's nothing serious to worry about. Did you forget about what happened before? I remember how you caught the flu. And then everyone else got ill. Regina Livivna, I think it's about time to move on from whatever happened before. If I were you, I'll forget about it. I've already moved on. Hey, that's a very beautiful dress. Maybe you can give me your designer's number soon. See that? I'm not the only one who sees it. What's wrong with you? Can you please tell me? <sighs> Mom, how many more classes am I going to have? Czech, and then French, plus history. Hmm. I'm so fed up, I don't want to do it anymore. So you mean your cheeks are so big because you hide notes there? Is that what you're trying to say? Mom, just give me a goddamn break for once, can you? Hey, don't talk to me like that. Then get off my back and stop treating me hey like Hey, guys! A What's happening here? <sighs> don't you know that the guests are coming? Sorry. Misha! 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 What? Why don't you go and help Adita? She'll handle it herself. She's a professional. I offered my help, but she refused. Misha, what's wrong? Tell me, hmm? It's none of your business. Have you ever operated in such circumstances? Never. And I doubt I'd like to do it again, but I'll... Hmm. Sure remember it. Well, saved the man's life after all. Here you go. Hot water. Why don't you join us? Thanks. I'll stay here. Eat up. Tell me something about yourself. Why should I? I don't even know what your name is. So what? I know you're Lydia Belova, but that's it. 
Okay, I max him. I know you're a great doctor. And I assume that you're a good person as well. Yeah. I know I'm a good doctor. I gotta get back to the patient now. Hmm. Thank you. Are you alright? Who are you? I'm your doctor. I was the one who operated on you. Don't worry, your son's here. Who are you? I don't have a son. I'm sure that they're gonna kill the both of us. Call the police right now. Where are you going? Uh... I'm just gonna go out to get some fresh air. Besides, I'm already done here and I wanna go home. Uh, I prepared the list of medicines and everything you may need. I already gave it to Alexander. Hmm. Unless you want me to stay here, but I'm already tired. You have my number, right? Just call me if you need anything. I do. Call the taxi. You did a good job. I didn't expect it to be this fun. <laughs> Regina, I think you'd better take care of your daughter. <laughs> I want to dance. What dance a disgrace. With dance with me. Dance with me. Dance with me. <laughs> dance with me. <laughs> dance. <laughs> Dika, hey. You should calm down. I love you guys. You guys are really good. Vika, yes. calm down. Let's go. Yeah, Let's go. Really having a good time. Oh, come on. Let's drink. Oh, come on. As usual. She can't handle her alcohol. Don't worry. I think everyone's used to her already, so... <laughs> I'll just have my last glass. Let's go. Oh, look. I didn't know Lira Belova is coming. <laughs> Where are you going? Excuse me. Come here. What are you doing here? Why aren't you with the patient? Because... The taxi's here. This is yours. Thank you. Thank you, too. I'll be looking after him. I'm sorry, I wasn't feeling well a while ago. That's why Strileska went instead of me. Who? Nasia, I thought you already knew. Is there something wrong? I'm really sorry. I really didn't mean to disappoint you. No, no, it's fine. It wasn't my intention to... I said to... it's fine. Who was the one who operated on Anton? Who's the doctor there? Who? Lydia Belova. Belova's here at the party. It was Stralecka. Okay. Chase a taxi. I'll sort it out. <clears throat> Misha, is there something wrong? It's a disaster. One thing after another. Everything's ruined. Something aside from the laptop? Yes. Oh, Misha, stop. You have to pull yourself together. Hey, calm down. I'm sure everything's going to you be okay. You don't get it. You still have to deliver a speech, so calm down. You have to show everyone everything is under control, Misha. You yes. have to do it. Yes, I know that, sure. I have to meet their expectations, right? Good. Shoemaker 45, let's go, please. Hurry. 
Is he coming with us? No, he's not coming with us. Let's get out of here, please. Get out. There's some misunderstanding. Come with us. What are you doing? Settle Let that. me go. Are you below or Streletska? You lied too. That man's not your father. Here's for the hast. Go now. You didn't see anything. Why didn't you tell me that you're not Belova? Lydia Belova wasn't feeling well. That's why I came here instead of her. Is that so? Does it matter which doctor arrived? Yes, it does. Do you know that you're in big trouble? I do. And you were telling me about your poor old daddy. Where do such freaks like you come from? Do you know what you want to do in life? What's your goal? Find my father's murderer. What else? I want to earn some money, so I can help my brother and sister. That's good. As you know, the authorities are no good. You are your only hope. Yes, only you can repay for your father's death. I'll help you with it. We'll try to find him. Do you think you could remember his face? I'll never forget his face. Go and wake him up. If I wake him up, he may not stand it at all. Did I put him out of danger? Just to put him in one again? A minute is enough for me. You know, he can die anytime soon. He won't live if I inject the meds. I won't do it, it's too dangerous. Is that a doctor's law? Where are you taking me? Where you'll be staying. Just follow what I say. Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time to give the floor to the owner of this beautiful house and the son of domestic pharmaceuticals. Let's welcome <coughs> Mikhail Yukromanovich. Nice. Yes, right. <laughs> the son, the son, yes, the son. Now I have an impression that our PR manager is simply trying to knock out a big salary for herself, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> well, uh, let's be serious now. You see, my team is looking every day for ways to help those people who need the treatment any way we can offer them in any way. And now we will not only help treat the poor, but also in the near future, we will be opening our very own and latest evolutionary center for drug addiction. That's right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Right. <laughs> Yes, come in. Why aren't you at the party right now? For the same reason as why you're not. I really don't think so. <laughs> you know, I also don't enjoy all these grand festivities. Small talks with different people. <laughs> That's right. Listen. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with my phone. Could you have a look at it? Look. Why don't you just get a brand new normal smartphone? Halia, where did you get this rubbish and why? Can you just simply help me turn this phone on? But promise me that you won't tell anyone about it. Will you? Please? No one? Not a soul. So now... Get to work! Your brother's almost 40 years old and an ordinary cop. I doubt he'll save you. Now I'll be blunt with you. Paris, London, opera, museums. 
and a fiancé named Xenia. Did you search those on my phone? I just looked at some of your photos. That's personal. Why do you need my photos? I had to understand what kind of person you are. And what did you find? An ordinary person. You have a family, a lot of friends, a good job. Xenia, you have everything to lose. What do you mean? Don't you see it yet? That I'm doing all of these for something? You'll get rid of me too, right? Yes. <sighs> That's what a normal person is supposed to do. What? Do you call yourself normal? You just asked me to return a dead person from another world. To ask him something and immediately kill him right after. Is that a normal thing to Maybe do? for me. I try to save every life and you just kill people without a second thought. Who am I talking to? You're a murderer. You have no soul, only a black hole. this man down. This scum is a member of a criminal gang. They're a bunch of drug dealers. What does dad have to do with it? Why would they kill my father? They wanted him to create a new narcotic drug for them, but their dad refused. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shall we take him to the police? That would be pointless. They got rid of the evidence a long time ago. You're the only witness, and this bastard mm -hmm. has created an alibi and earned money from it. Well, we can't just let him go for everything he did. <clears throat> no, we won't. If you want to avenge your father, you'll kill him. And then, we'll forget about everything. <laughs> but it's really empty. Yes, a black hole. I can't take it anymore. When will you decide on it? You promise? Really? <sighs> Talking on the phone this late again? No. But it's late. Drink this. It's seaweed honey. For you to sleep well. <sighs> Halia. Discipline is above all. Okay, Mom. Good night. Good night. You still there? Nastya? 
Nastya, you home? Ah, looks like forgot to turn on the alarm again. You idiot. Where's Maxime? Look, Mikhail Romanovich is getting worried. He was asking about how you're doing. What should I tell him now? Wait longer. Well then, see you tomorrow. Why are you getting a new tattoo? You told me you never get new tattoos without a reason. I have no reason this time. I see. Lift your arm. There, it's done. You going or what? I need to go. Will it always be like this? What do you mean? You see, you just come here whenever, then you just leave when you want. We've been together for four months. We only go to my place or yours. Is this normal? Take me to the cinema or something. Is it so important to you? Not movies, obviously. I simply know nothing about you. We only have sex and that's it. You never talk to me. But it's better. Just imagine the rest for yourself. You're a psycho. You're angry? Mm-hmm. I have to go. Do you have any plans in the future with me? Have you no shame of what you've done earlier in there? Oh. Mom. Mom, it could have been worse. I could have been naked in front of everyone. And no one would still pay attention to me. You know yourself. Everyone did. These people don't see me as who I really am. I can tell that they look through me as if I'm glass. What the hell are you talking about? I think you've had too much to drink. <laughs> Mom! Oh, Yulia, dear. What I is it? I had a nightmare. I can't sleep. My baby. Mom. Good evening. Mom, get up. Come over here. <laughs> My baby, get up, come, come on. here. <gasps> All right, baby, let's go. Let's go, come on. As I see, the party went well. Don't fall. Get up. <laughs> Your daddy mm, is home. Oh, my darling. Come on, baby. I'll read you a bedtime <laughs> My story. baby. All right, all right. Mommy. Go get yourself fixed. I'm oh. going up already. Right? <laughs> Let's go, Come Daddy. on. 
What do you think you're doing now? <laughs> Just wait and Bodan will leave you soon. <laughs> Yulia and you will be left alone. Nobody needs someone who acts like a crazy person. Think about what you're saying to her. <sighs> Victoria, come on. Let's go. Come. Come, let's go. Come. Thank you. Let's Thank go you. wash you up. I can manage. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Careful now. I'm fine. <laughs> Bodan will leave you. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Has he woken up yet? No. What about the doctor? She's there, singing. Singing? But Dan was here, with the same question. Hmm. He'd better mind his own business, for asking about other people's business. How's Vassal? <sighs> How did you know? Tell me what's next. Nothing. Business as usual. We have ours, and he has his. Hmm? I'll go sleep for a while. Wake me up if something happens. All right, then. What's next? Had I known you were listening, I wouldn't be singing. Then don't sing. What's this? Your stuff. Wow, great service. Can I already take a shower now? I wasn't allowed to use the toilet and now this? Are there even clothes? Where did you get them? Stole from somebody? Or from a dead body? I'm sorry, I didn't get some underwear. How could you go to my own place and rake through my clothes? Why are you so angry? I just wanted to do something for you, okay? You should be grateful. My goodness. If my brother were in there, you would kill him too? He was there. Don't worry. Your brother's still well and alive for the time being. For now. See you. I'm looking for your security chief. Is Maxim Rinchuk here? Do you copy? <clears throat> copy. Hey, it's me. Tell Maxim to come over here. Who's there? The police. Roger that. We're waiting for you here. Over. Close the boiler room. Go and make sure that the doctor doesn't sing or make any noise.
factory has dozens of employees. We can't keep track of everyone. I understand that. I guess Anton's wife really has nothing to be worried about. He might be at his mistress's. <laughs> that wouldn't be possible. You must be choking. She was threatened. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, it's bad. All right, then. Let me know if Anton Suchov comes here. Give me a call. Okay. Don't worry. I promise you that we're here to cooperate with the police. Well, now, I see that this factory won't be a problem for us. Everything's neat and clean. That's right. Neat and clean. Mm -hmm. Um, so what do you manufacture apart from medicine? Meds only. <laughs> you should have been more attentive to his wife. She reported us to the police. It's bad. We must not be suspected. Mikita, could you check someone for me? You're already up? Did you even sleep? I didn't sleep well. Really? I think a massage would help you out. What do you think? I don't understand. Who's behind Anton? And who hired him? Now the police are all over our business. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll solve everything. Well, I'm not sure about it this time. If they don't find the laptop, then it's... Edita. Do you still want to be with me even if I fail? Do you really doubt my intentions? Misha, whatever might happen, I'll always be with you, okay? Okay. I love you. What are you thinking about? Hmm? It's nothing. I don't want to bother you. It's too complicated, and I don't want you involved. Besides, you can't help me with it. You sure? There's nothing serious so far. What does this Rinchuk guy say? Does he really know nothing about Sichov? I'm sure he knows everything. But he won't tell us. He's very careful. It's going to be hard to make him talk. Yes, he's a pro at beating around the bush. Um, by the way, Yuri, Sitcha's wife withdrew her claim about breaking into her flat and threats from unknown men. Hmm. Well, I think... It's either they threatened to kill her, or she was paid to do it. <laughs> I'm almost sure Sitchov's dead by now. Even if we find something, it'll be his body. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Yes, it's me. What do you mean? I thought she was with you. Okay, got it. Is there anything wrong? It's my sister's fiancé. He told me that I need to go to her place immediately. Would you mind if I go ahead? Of course not. Go. Just be in touch, Yuri. For sure I will. Hey, good morning. So, what now? So maybe we should knock this guy with something heavy so he'll finally wake up. Why would you do that? She's a doctor. We don't have time anymore. Wake him up. I can't force a patient to wake up. I'm not willing to take the risk. I already told you it would be very dangerous. You think it's safe? Do it now. Or he'll die now. <sighs> 
take her away. Mm. You hear me? Where's the laptop? I'll only tell Mikhailo, only him. Hey, Uncle. He already woke up. He says he'll only talk to you. All right. Don't you know where your sister is? She hasn't answered any of my calls. What do you mean? Are you serious? I'm working here right now. How come you don't know where your sister is? I don't really understand how your relationship works. Last night she didn't come home either. Did you do something? No. Because I was sure she's at your place. Did you call her yesterday? Yes, but she didn't answer my calls. I just thought she was tired after work and went to bed early. Hey, can you keep it down? This is a hospital, for God's sake. There are other people here. Is that what you're worried about right now? Don't you care about my sister, huh? When I, when I realized that she didn't come home, I called her too, but she didn't answer. And then I called you. That's it. Whatever. Yes? Hang on. Keep an eye on him. Speak. Switch off. Switch off, can you hear me? Let's be honest right now. You're not a tenant here, you know that, right? Tell me, where's the laptop? And I promise that I will take care of your family. Switch off, do you hear me? Uh-huh. So it says here, Streletsky Yuri Andreevich, a policeman, operative of an exemplary worker of internal organs, behind two high-profile cases, a new pharmaceutical building, and a bloody coin collector. What else? Here, it also says that he is currently working with senior detective Vasil Ostopenko. Is that your brother? Okay, I got it. Hey, he wants to see me? What does he want? I don't know yet. What's up with you? Is there a problem? Well, honestly, there is, but I'll just tell you later. Now we need to find out where the laptop is before he's unconscious again. What about the doctor? Did you lock her up? I did. Just make sure, because she's not supposed to see me. What are you going to do with her? I have no idea, but we can't bribe nor hire her. I don't really want to kill her. She's famous. Let's go. We'll think about it later. Under the column. <laughs> Hidden under a cushion. <sighs> In the club? Yes. Do you promise not to hurt my wife? Yes, I promise. Swear on it. Yes, I swear. Uh, They're here. Uh, hey! Wake up! Hey, man, wake leave up. him alone. I'll be the Sir, one to talk wake to. Up. Oh, Anton, what happened to you? You said you wanted to have a word with me? Then go ahead. I'm all ears. Tell me where you hid the laptop, and I'll spare your life. Okay? Anton? No, no, no. Don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes. Don't close your eyes! Who bought you, you bastard? Huh? How much did they pay you? Tell me now. Tell me! What's that? Say it again. I won't tell you. I won't tell you anything. I hate you. I hate you.
Why is she here? Sanya. Hey, why don't you get her? Lock her up. I can't believe this. I thought you were a decent man. That you saved so many lives. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I... I... I think it's no secret that honest and decent men like me usually have hard lives. If you want to help other people, sometimes you have to do some very unpleasant things too. Oh, is that so? Does that mean shooting an innocent man? Ah, so then you saw me. Everyone has a dark side after all. And this is mine. You're a liar. I really hate you. You... you should go to hell. You know what to do. Let me go! Please don't do this. I beg you. I... I won't tell anybody about what happened to me. Nobody will know of it. I'll forget it. I'll leave the city. No one will find out, I swear. I promise. You can tell Misha I fled and you... You...